Hi. Hold on, I gotta send a text. How you doing? You good? Me, I'm good. I just really have some things I wanna talk about and I really don't like myself with lipstick on. I feel like I look, I don't like it, but anyway. Hi, my name is MJ. My YouTube channel usually just comprises of commentary, but I do some lifestyle things here and there. And I really just make videos on whatever I wanna make videos on. Today, I kinda of wanna talk about Gabby Hanna because her name has been in the news and it sparked kind of a conversation in my head about other things than just someone kind of trolling. I wanna ask the viewer right now, what do you think is the runtime on YouTube? Do you think it's 10 years? Do you think it's five years? Do you think it's only two or even a year? How long do you think it is for someone to have a career on social media? Like, what do you think? Because that's kind of the question I have when I think about Gabby Hanna and see Gabby Hanna's name in the news and stuff. When I was a preschool teacher, the thing I would tell kids to kind of deescalate was that we need to be all done. And I kind of feel that that is definitely the case for Gabby Hanna because I don't really feel that she's fulfilled in her career on the internet anymore. I feel like the jury's out. I don't really know how many people actually care for Gabby Hanna to be on the internet anymore. Can you be upset about that when you've had, I think, close to 10 years of success? It makes me feel bummed that most of the time she's attacking other people or putting herself in headlines or getting herself to trend on Twitter for kind of the wrong reasons. She's not a fucking artist. I don't care about her fucking opinion because she has no accomplishments in art or has proven to me that she's actually intellectual enough to understand art. I accept my criticism from talented, smart people, not abusive, toxic, exploitative bullies on YouTube. I wish that there was more gratefulness on Gabby's part for the career that she has had on the internet, for the fans that she's amassed, for the support that she's been given. That kind of stuff bothers me because so many people would do anything to have the privilege that Gabby has, to have the opportunity that she has, to have a career on the internet, doing what you love and being able to pursue your passions and hobbies and turning it into a full-time career. So many people would do anything to have that opportunity and I feel like Gabby's just kind of like throwing it back in everyone's faces, including her own, because she's not happy anymore. There are so many things that she can go and do that aren't connected to YouTube. She could do charity work, she could volunteer, she could work for a nonprofit, she could work for another company. I know that she's a graduate, I think she has a degree in psychology. Maybe she wants to go and use that degree in a different kind of field. YouTube doesn't exactly utilize her degree in super directly or anything, so I feel like it would be great for Gabby to go and do a job off the internet. Um, because I think when you're on the internet for so long, you forget that there are other jobs, that your life does not begin and end on YouTube. and. While she's in the headlines every other week, every other day, it seems like, I think there is a point you where you have, like I said, been on the internet for X amount of time and maybe your viewership's dropping. I think Gabby's has dropped, you know, a fair bit. She has, I think, 5.7 million subscribers on YouTube, but she doesn't really get the same kind of viewership for the number of subscribers that she has on her channel. And I know YouTube can be very numbers orientated, but it feels like her audience just isn't really where it used to be. And that's not a bad thing either. People will grow up. It's just kind of the natural progression of things where you don't have the same audience that you once had. And instead of kind of bowing out with grace, she is just doing whatever she can to still stay relevant and it includes dragging other people down and in some cases attacking those people, specifically smaller content creators when they haven't done anything wrong. Uh, I know you guys probably know what I'm talking about. You can Google Gabby Hanna and Rachel Oates and form your own opinion on it, but Rachel was just making, had a criticism, critiqued Gabby's poetry books and Gabby just lost it on her despite sending the poetry book to Rachel to review. It feels like greed. Siren. And I just feel like she could continue to make music and poetry but does not post about it as much because your success with those things is not dependent on the numbers or the number of albums you sell or if you make it on the New York Times bestsellers list. I think if you're looking at numbers, you're probably doing it for the wrong reason. And I just help, can't help but feel that might be Gabby's problem is she's just looking at everything she's doing for numbers and doesn't understand that that's not how you find success or fulfillment and 
she just needs to kind of maturely let it go because if you come onto the internet with the expectation that's going to last forever you're just going to be let down everything is so touch and go everything changes so much every single day There's music hold on the internet changes every day every hour and after years it will definitely change and the audience that supported you and probably to some degree still supports you will grow up and move on and find other things to listen to and watch and that's okay this is why whenever somebody's asking like should i have it should i pursue youtube or should i try to do something in social media i think you should always have another career that you have on the side or job that you're doing you should never rely solely on youtube as income or as a career because i think it will ultimately let you down and you will just be upset that you can't continue in it forever train it's, it's not even like giving up or anything. Like it's not giving up for Gabby to move on, but I can tell that that's not really something she seems like she wants to do. It sounds like she's getting ready to gear up and release some kind of YouTube series or some kind of new big project. And she's trying to create as much publicity around it as possible so that people will be incentivized to watch. But the internet has no patience for anybody. And if you're really gonna come on and say that people who give you criticism are narcissistic abusers, it's definitely time for you to take a break from the internet. It's not always nice to hear, but like your critics are sometimes your biggest supporters and they're the people who want to see you do the best. And I know some of the people who have given Hannah, Gabby, Gabby Hannah criticism in the past have been people who are also vocal supporters of her. I know Angelica Oles has said she wishes her nothing but the best. I know that Rachel Oates has said that she hopes that Gabby will take criticism to improve her poetry in the future. And those are just not people who that are saying anything with malice and also Criticizing someone's art isn't criticizing them. It doesn't mean that people dislike you, they just don't like your art and that's okay. Art is very subjective, it's not right or wrong. People aren't gonna love everything that you make, that is okay too. It's mostly about how you feel about it yourself and if you're proud of it and feels that there is success to be had in what you're doing. I'm also curious about people's opinions on censorship because it feels like a lot of what Gabby is trying to do is censorship and saying people can't say certain things about her or certain things aren't true and it's not okay for people to criticize her, which is unfortunate because you can't tell people what they can and cannot do on the internet, especially when it's it's not a hateful thing, you know? People are allowed to comment on things on the internet, <laughs> especially if they're doing it in a way that's just critical, it's not hateful or anything. Gabby may feel that she is free to also comment and say whatever she wants, but I've seen her tone and her language and the way that she's approaching certain topics turn extremely aggressive, very nasty, and take a serious bullying tone that is just very sad and kind of scary to watch. She's not a fucking artist. I don't care about her fucking opinion. There's just no reason for it. When you're that big of a sort of influencer, when you have that many subscribers and that many people following you, I just don't think it's appropriate or responsible to weaponize your audience against people, to go to your audience to make you feel a certain way or to validate your bad behaviors. Those are not responsible things at all to do with your audience and your influence. Don't think that she's being responsible with it anymore. And when it starts to become something like this and you're using it in a negative way, it is time to be all done. I think the internet can be a very toxic place. And for Gabby, I think it's an extremely toxic place right now. And yeah, the tirades and the screaming and the yelling just doesn't look very good. You don't need to defend yourself against every criticism that you receive. I don't think it's right to hate people, and I think that the hate that Gabby receives for her appearance isn't okay. That's very wrong. But not everybody is there for critiquing your appearance. Like, they're not. They're just critiquing things that you do. I get told that a lot on my channel. You can't talk about this. You can't say this. You can't say that. And as long as it's not being said in a hateful way, what's the problem with having an opinion on something, sharing your thoughts on something? It's like, who decides what can and cannot be talked about on the internet? Who decides? Gabby Hanna believes that she can censor people, that she can decide who says what at what time and when. Now, it's just not how it works. And you have to be comfortable with people talking about you because that's gonna happen when you're in the public forum and the public domain. People will pick up and talk about you and your actions and the things that you do. And I do think that Gabby's burnt out on it and just needs to take time completely away. I think she should move on with something else that's gonna fulfill her in her life. Yeah, that's kind of my two cents. I hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, this isn't really a typical, I'm going to analyze everything that Gabby Hanna has done and said and not a tea or a drama channel, just giving my opinion on the situation. And I'd like to hear people's thoughts because this feels very much like the end of someone's career on YouTube and instead of them accepting it, they're kind of fighting it actively and everybody gets let go from a job. Everybody moves on and finds a different career. 
it's very healthy and normal to do that, especially after like 10 years or whatever. And if it stops being fun, you shouldn't probably do it anymore. It's just not worth it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's my opinion on the situation. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I really appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. It's so cool to upload something and have people see it and give their opinion and be able to consume it and watch it. And it's something that I created. It's so cool. I don't even, it, it could be on a small scale or a big scale. To me, it's just so fun that I get to do that. And I really appreciate that you guys watch my stuff. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.